Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day today. Um, today we're opening up the October edition of the GLB Collector's Box. This is a subscription box from GLB Breaks or Great Lakes Breaks for the full name. Um, comes in a box like this. Uh, this is their URL. I will put a link uh, in the description below for the exact product. Um, I think these are $29.99, a one-time purchase. Beep, beep. And if you subscribe, can't quite get the word out, subscribe, beep, beep, it's $28.49 a month and you get an extra hit. Boop, boop, boop from Nathan and them for good luck. And let's open it up and see uh, what we find. Now, the product comes in this box in the mail. There's usually a mailing label under here. I peeled it off for uh, privacy reasons. Um, but this is how it arrives at your, at your door and the shipping is free. So we're going to open it up. Once I can get my slicer in the right place. I don't think there's any other tape on it. And we'll move Nathan the gnome over here to give us some room. Here's a couple of whatever you call these things. Move these off to the side. It comes with some packs. It looks like three of them this time. Every now and then you might get a fourth one. Uh, it has a bunch of loose cards on the uh, sides here and then there is usually uh, some um, top loaders and some penny sleeves plus two cards in this one uh, one or two of them are hits I think I'm not sure I think both are considered hits and here's the rest of our stuff empty box pull this off to the side it's falling down all over the place to my left um, we'll go through the loose cards first, and um, probably this next, and then the packs last. Um, let's start here. So we got a. Is this a? This is a rookie card from Tops Two Hundred Six. Austin Jackson. I'm not sure I remember Austin Jackson. Uh, if you remember him, uh, let us know in the comments who he was. <laughs> he sleeped for some reason. Um, Prism Draft Picks, this is Michael Setteroth. I've never seen these before. That dates from 2014. Uh, George Springer on the, uh, this is from 2023, um, Tops. This is the, uh, 88 Tops design. I think this was from Chrome. I think that's the, the C in there stands for Chrome. So we got George Springer there. Uh, it's refracting. Not sure if that's anything we need to can be concerned about or not tops chrome carlos correa did not have the best of <laughs> year of his career this last year uh, we'll see if he turns it around next year taylor ward um first bowman of jeremy rhodes flip it around hopefully you're not getting dizzy like i am robert hassel uh, Andre Lara, first Bowman. Uh, this product does have a fair amount of Bowman cards in it, so um, you know somewhere down the road they could turn out to be like big things. You know if they turn into stars when they re reach the big leagues. Eric Hosmer, that's a pretty good photo. Who's that running there? Stacy or Stassy? Not sure how his last name's pronounced. Chris Stratton, rookie card. Uh, Nelson Cruz. This is from 2022 Tops Chrome, Jack Flaherty. And they are every which way this time. Bowman Chrome of um, Marco Gonzalez. Uh, Bowman, oh, what is this called? It's, Ye Ye Ooh, how do you pronounce his name? Yison Moro Bell. This is from 2022. Why don't I remember what this is called? Bowman Heritage? Is that what this is? I don't know. <laughs> it, I don't I don't open up very much of that one, so I'm not familiar with it. Domingos, Domingo Santana, Bowman Chrome. Here's another one from that set. This is um, Denzer Guzman. Okay. Uh, Max Scherzer. Uh, Master and Apprentice. Cruz and Garver. 
It says reviewing scouting report, but I bet you they're looking over which pizza they're going to have after the game. Simeon Woods Richardson tops uh, Heritage. I think this is tops Heritage Miners. Uh, Ethan Hankins. Vincent Velasquez. Masail Urbina. Yeah, lots of players I'm not familiar with. I, I don't keep up with the drafts and the minors too much. Austin Kubica, Bowman Chrome, uh, Ivan Nova, Heritage, Brad Hand, Cam Collier, that's the first Bowman for him, Logan Webb, Panini Mosaic, Jesus Luzardo, Bowman Chrome, uh, Tops Allen and Ginter from 2019, Javier Baez, and Mike Kingery, or Scott Kingery, I'm sorry. Magalio Ordonez, this is on the 2022 Tops Chrome Platinum. They're based on the 53 Tops design. I really like this set. Orlando Cepeda and Miguel Sano. Matt Brash, rookie debut. Uh, this is from 2022 Tops Chrome. This is a purple parallel, not numbered. And here's our first hit, Scott Rowland. This is a Gypsy Queen card. This is a uh, game-used uh, uniform relic. And this one dates from 2011, so that's a nice one. Hall of Famer Scott Rowland. Put that back there. Uh, K. Calhoun. Cole Calhoun, okay. And Corey Kluber, top's finest. Let's look at the rest of the loose cards. This is from Capstone, Kyle Tucker. Pretty neat looking card. I never did open up any... Uh, any uh, capstone? Uh, I, I I remember watching some other videos and I was going to get some, but I never did find any at the store, and I never did get around to shopping online. O'Neill Cruz from 2023 Tops Chrome. Uh, unfortunately, his season got sidelined this year with an injury. Uh, really hoping to see him play full time down the road because he looks like he has a lot of potential. Joe Ryan. Uh, Willie Vasquez, Javier Baez, Joey Gallo. What did Joey Gallo hit this year? I'd have to look that up. He was like in the 170s. Nate Lowe. He's like uh, Dave Kingman cubed. <laughs> Lower average and still pounding out home runs. Kevin Gaussman. Ryan Nelson rookie card. Simeon Woods Richardson rookie card. That is a mouthful. Gabriel Moreno rookie card. Juan Soto. That's a nice one. I don't think I have that. Nolan Arenado. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one either. These are from 2023. I didn't open any of those um, uh, this year when they came out. Roger Clemens. This is Topps Chrome. Don't remember what the, what this is called. Pardon my um, fumbling hands. DGC. I think it's a... They can, it's considered something die cut, but it doesn't look like a die cut card because it's still square all the way around. Uh, I'll have to look that one up again. Jacob Melton, first Bowman. Uh, Taylor Rogers. Uh, Sonny Gray. Uh, Jose Quintana. Uh, Ryan Presley. Back to some more tops. Chrome. Spencer Torkelson be a second year card for him Stephen Kwan also a second year card Zach Godley uh, Jeremy Jeffress these are on 2020 2019 Gypsy Queen Nolan Arenado that's one I don't have uh, Colton Welker this is from Topps Gallery this is a rainbow foil this is also a rookie card uh, 2022, I think this was the last year of Topps Gallery. They didn't issue it in 2023. I don't think they're, we're ever going to see that again, at least for the time being. Dustin Mosley, that's an older car, 2013. That ring does not, that name does not ring a bell. I was about to say that ring doesn't name a bell. <laughs> Brandon um, Inge, I'm not sure how that name's pronounced. Barry Zito, remember him a little bit. Kenley Jansen, that's an earlier card for him, isn't it? Might be a second or third year card. Not really sure. Brandon Crawford. Cool. Nolan Ryan. This is um, Tops Pristine from 2023. 
So this is the new pristine set. I have not seen any of this. I'm sure others have opened it on YouTube. Uh, I probably won't because it's a rather expensive product. And the only way I acquire anything from this set is usually um, via eBay. <laughs> Somebody sometimes has a lot. Every now and then there's you find one of these in an antique mall at a, a fairly decent price. But this is actually a pretty good one, Nolan Ryan card. They, Nolan Ryan cards still hold value even in the modern era, even though they are long past his active career. Brandon Crawford on Stadium Club. We have a Dylan Carlson rookie on Stadium Club. And last card is Alexis Hernandez from that Bowman set that I can't remember what it's called. We're going to open this up. Our second hit will be in here. We're going to leave the uh, leave the top loaders and uh, penny sleeves in here uh, for future use. Uh, can never go wrong having them. So we got a Jazz Chisholm rookie card from Bowman Platinum. That's pretty nice. That's from 2021. I definitely don't think I have that, so that's pretty cool. And here we have uh, an Alto and a patch from Kyle Buchanan from USA Team Baseball Junior National Team. This is an upper deck uh, product. It's numbered um, 59 out of 99. Now, I have no idea who Kyle Buchanan is. Uh, so this is probably not really that big of a deal. 20. 2008 Upper Deck Baseball Series 2 this came out in. So I have no idea who Kyle Buchanan is. I will have to look him up. Um, so it's not that too big of a deal. I think the Scott Rowland patch is uh, a lot more interesting. Let's see what kind of packs we get this time. We have an Allen and Ginter 2023. We have opened up blaster boxes of this. Uh, one of my favorite sets of the year, 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum. They don't use the word anniversary, but everybody keeps putting the word anniversary on the end, like the previous year's set. And Bowman Heritage, which I have not opened any up of. And this is a hobby pack, and this is from 2022. Uh, this is also a hobby pack, and this is also a hobby pack. So all three are hobby packs. Um, Let's save this one for last because I like it, and we'll put that one second. We'll open up the Allen and Ginter one first and see what we find. Beep, beep. You're welcome to beep along if you want to. Uh, Edmund, what is his first name? Tommy Edmund. Yeah, this one I don't... <laughs> doesn't ring a bell either. Ryan Nelson rookie card. Uh, Carlos Rodon. DMC, this is uh, King of Rock. He's a rapper from Run DMC, I guess. Yeah, I sort of remember seeing him back. Uh, this was in back in the 80s, wasn't it? Uh, Curly, Fred Curly, World 100-meter champion. Yeah, I don't really venture outside the sport of baseball, so a lot of these... Uh, other players I, or sports athletes I'm not real familiar with. Spencer Strider, I guess that's a second-year card for him. And we got some dessert. Save room for dessert with gummy bears. I'm not a real fan of gummy bears. It seems like a product that sticks to my teeth. And I, I've always had a... Um, I've never been much for things that stick to my teeth. If you ever tried a Charlton, Charleston Chew, wow. That was the last time I ever had anything that... <laughs> I thought my teeth were going to fall out of my mouth. And we have a Merlin, the talented set. I presume this is his rookie card, but they don't seem to put the RC logo on the non-sports cards that are included in this. I think Top should do that. Not sure if they ever will. Bowman Heritage 2022. If I remember, this was... Uh, bundled with another Bowman product and uh, that was one of the reasons why I never bought it because it never came out in a blaster box. Okay so those other um, cards that we saw in the loose cards that looked like this they were Bowman Heritage cards. I think I guessed that right uh, but I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, still pretty neat design. I, th I like them. Alexander Ramirez. It kind of reminds me of Stadium Club a little bit. 
Junior Perez, I'm assuming this is some earlier Bowman design that I'm just not familiar with. I did not buy any Bowman products uh, when they first came out in, what was that, 1989. Uh, I was only buying tops at the time, and I was in college, so I wasn't really actively looking at baseball cards. I was just buying the, um, the factory sets that were coming from tops during that period up through 91, and then I kind of gave up for a while there. And so I missed out on a lot of the 90s cards. So uh, this is uh, sort of a way to get back to some of that stuff. Luis Robert, although these are, these are brand new, but I'm sure they were based on an earlier Bowman design. Nick York, I'm not sure if it says it on back what year. I'd have to look that up. Um, Christian Vaquero. And here's some chrome versions of this uh jonathan clace anthony volpe who is uh hadn't made it to the big leagues but kind of struggled at the plate i would say um what did he finish the year at just he finished the year sort of around the mendoza average around 200 or so i think uh, we'll see if he uh improves it down the road austin martin alec thomas rookie card and oswaldo cabrera so not a whole lot in that pack. Not a whole lot in the Gypsy Queen one either. Let's see if this one will get us something pretty cool or not. So Shane Bieber starts us off. Um, they always have one upside down, but I don't think there's anything special about it. That's Bernie Williams. Uh, the Ted Williams is a refractor. That's nice. So that was probably our... Big hit from the packs. And John Gray is our last card of this subscription box. So that is, um, let me find the box. The GLB collector's box from Great Lakes Breaks. And there is their URL. Again, I will try to remember to put a link to the exact product down in the description below. Uh, so have a look at that if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if what you think of this product. Again, it's kind of on a lower end, so there's not a whole lot in it. But I think on average, I get about my money's worth. There are some boxes aren't as good as others, and some some occasionally are pretty great. Um, but I think on average, when you average it out from month to month to month, uh, I'm probably breaking even on most of these, maybe doing a little bit better. So I haven't decided on if I'm going to... Uh, ever end this but so far it's been entertaining enough and uh, it seems like uh, some people enjoy watching this kind of stuff so I will keep doing it for the foreseeable future so thank you again for watching hope you all have a wonderful day today take care everybody beep beep